name is Derek and I'm here with the CJW Street team here at Home County Music and Art Festival and uh, this is the 40th anniversary of Home County and we're here with Royal Wood so how you doing I'm good how are you I'm doing very well yeah Royal Wood was recently nominated for a Juno actually what was your experience on that actually well I love the Junos just because it's like it's a big family hang time it kind of feels like exactly like doing a festival and that you see all your friends and your peers that you know very well and you don't get to see as much during the year when you're touring uh, with your own act and your own band and uh, and the Juno is just exciting you know it's my second nomination and it's nice to put your head out of the sand every once in a while and realize that the industry might be paying attention and that your peers might like what you do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was exciting. Getting your songs placed on dramas and things like that, like Grey's Anatomy, uh, Private Practice, like, how does that feel actually, like, to get hear one of your songs while watching a TV show or whatnot? Well, here's a confession. Uh, I don't own a television, so I've never actually heard one of my songs on TV, although I license them all the time. It's great that it happens, and it's it's today's radio, because a lot of radio is disappearing. We just have satellite radio and, 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 you know, obviously very amazing boutique labels and boutique stations and stuff, but the days of so many Canadian acts breaking through on radio in Canada gets harder and harder as we become more like the States with our broadcasting and stuff, so we have to reach the masses with television. So it's huge for us. Like the the fact that I get to tour in the states and have people come out is solely based on placements and based on the internet because there is no CBC radio playing me over there in the states. So it's just NPR and television, really. Yeah. yeah. Well, but definitely like um, really like it's another access point for musicians to get their music out there. Really. So like for like aspiring songwriters and musicians that really want to get their music out there like what are some like suggestions like even from like music composition to really like getting yourself out there like what are some suggestions that you have to younger artists out there biggest thing i would say is just keep playing keep playing keep writing keep bettering yourself try to be world class there's no such thing as this is kind of good enough i believe in being the most professional artist that i can and working really really hard and the rest is just your own path and it kind of lays yourself out at your feet. I can't say do ABC and everything's going to work out because I just don't think that exists but just good things happen for me along the way and, and some not so good things and I've made some mistakes in some ways and but the majority of it has been successful and I get to say that I'm a self-employed artist of many years and I think if you're doing it for the right reasons and you're excited each day and you're excited at night when you go to bed for the next day to work on your craft, then you will go far. You did a workshop earlier today as well. What's the huge difference between like doing, performing these workshops, doing these workshops, then really performing in front of a crowd that was as big as it was there? The atmosphere in a workshop is you just kind of have to let vanity, ego go and it's not about bringing the most professional display of your song. It's about connecting with all the musicians on stage and making a moment and if it works out, amazing. And everyone loves it and the musicians feel it and you go with it. And if it doesn't, you know, that's part of it. That's what we're all in it in the first place was to make something that didn't exist before. So workshops I actually have a lot of fun at. I just can't go in thinking that everyone's gonna know every chord change and everything's gonna be perfectly in time. Like, I work so hard with my band to get them the sound the way they sound and uh, you don't get to do that at a workshop because these guys even though they're all my friends um, you know I we've we've played lots of stages together it's not like they know intimately each chord change it's like when I'm playing on their stuff I know their songs because I I'm fans and I'm friends of them but it doesn't mean I totally remember the next change that's coming up it's kind of got to go by the seat of your pants so that's the fun of it lastly it's like for all the fans out there that you have like um, or even fans to come like where would you direct people to go visit your work and things like that well uh, if this is a Canadian audience then uh, the website obviously rollwood.ca but it's it's the internet so it's called Google and you put it in the browser and open it up and you search my name and things will come up and you will find me <laughs> <laughs> All right, so definitely check them up on Google or at royalwood.ca. There you have it. That's the Juno-nominated Royalwood. Ooh.